Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Cooler Master Control Pad. Okay, now, taking a closer look at the box, you're going to see that it says Control Pad, 24 keys with RGB mechanical switches, and exclusive impact pressure sensitive technology, RGB, and this is the black version. This with the Gatoron red, so I chose to go with Gatoron just yeah, well, just because I do like Gatron switches a little bit more than Cherry. Anyways, let's get this opened up. So on the back, you're going to be getting a full overview of this. So mechanical switches, full key programmable, anodized brush aluminum, and also a removable magnetic wrist rest. Opening this up, first thing you're going to see manual, obviously. Is this a manual? Oh, it's just a quick start guide and the manual is underneath it. They package this very nicely, so there is a plastic cover of it, so just take it out. Taking the entire unit out of the box, you'll notice that the wire is not attached, you can actually remove the wire. And you also get some probable feed up that you can just adjust from here. So you can have it at an angle if that's what you're comfortable with. And yeah, the keys, since they're later on, do feel very smooth and very linear in a sense so that's very nice now taking a look at what else is in the box on the bottom obviously the wire to connect it so this is the wire and there is also the removable wrist rest so there's a very nice cooler master logo on it it's actually etched thin you can actually feel it slightly so it's black on black and also you get a keycap puller now because i backed this on kickstarter i actually got the relangible keycap so that i can just put my own logos on it things like that so there are 24 keycaps let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside opening this up is basically just some milky white keycaps that you can just swap out and you can print out your own logos and put it on and i if i'm not wrong they actually do have some templates online already so you can use it to put whatever you like and yeah i'm probably going for the final cut pro versions just because i'm going to be mostly using this for final cut pro maybe i haven't really decided what i want to actually do with this yet but i want to use this to play games like csgo stream maybe or yeah, use it for to edit videos. After using this for quite a while, what I can say is that this is a really nifty gadget that is really amazing to use. If I may compare this to something like the Razer Tartarus or Alt Weaver, even though I've never used them, but the control pad actually just looks like their little brother. The main difference would be the fact that the Razer ones come with a thumbstick that you can adjust so it's on the right or left depending on how you do it, while the control pad just has all the keys. There is also per key RGB if that is important to you, so you could set a different color for each function, which we'll get to that in a bit. Let me just show you what you can do with this software. So when you first get in, after you download it, turn it on, you'll see this automatically connected on the left side, so you have lighting and foreground and then you can just change from here static rainbow wave crosshair reactive fade custom star snowing color cycle breeding reactive punch circle spectrum and you really get a lot of things that you can actually customize yourself you can even adjust the led speed here so you can go all the way up to fast or all the way down to the lower setting which is slow you can adjust the brightness from here and then let's just go to key mapping because this will be one of the most important things that you will have to do so from here you can change settings like LED brighter LED darker volume up volume down and all of these are remappable to any key that you want so say something like you would rather have this be maybe the V key or this one be your enter key instead of the space key and yeah, you can, it's basically just very, very customizable. And if you go into the advanced mode, you can get a lot more different things. So each key is different. So you just change the color. So like macro is pink, application yellow, impact functions blue. Yeah, things like that. Now in the macros tab, all you need to do is just 
type in a name, so I've put in WOW, which is for World of Warcraft. You just press add and you get this thing that pops up and then from here you just record whatever macros you want it to run and you can even set the input delay. So it's very customizable for something that you want to do. And then if you go into profiles, you can actually save a ton of profiles here. So you can have one for say maybe Counter-Strike, you can have one for Photoshop, or you can have one for Final Cut, Premiere Pro. So each thing is different and then it will actually save into the control pad itself. So you don't need to worry, it's plug and play. All you need to do is you just unplug this from your computer and you can actually bring it on the go and even connect it to another laptop very easily. From here, let me just show you some of the control pad, relangible gaming templates and also a Photoshop template. So you can see that you can print it out either in white or black. And for the FPS one, they have the guns, they have your arrow keys, your hand grenades, changing of weapons. And in Photoshop, you have things like your cut, crop, pen tool, text, things like that. And yeah, they have quite a few and they will be updating this later on. I really hope that they update it with your Final Cut Pro one because that's what I'm using this for. Even if they don't, I'll probably just get their blank template and edit my own pictures or logos onto it so that I can just look at it and don't need to memorize where are the keys because currently I'm memorizing where each of these keys are. Like my cut is 17, my pace is 18, crop is 6 and then my blade key is 7 and the select all is 8. Using the control pad to play games is very easy to get used to because the keys are spaced like a usual keyboard and they are using mechanical switches, mine are the Gatoron Red in case you forgot. So all you need to do is set the keys to what is most comfortable for you and you are good to go. I'm not going to go too much into the aimpad technology that is built into this because they've actually already shown this on their website and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below where they use the control pad in the game super hard where I think this really shines. Basically, what the aimpad technology is, it is a pressure-sensitive keypad like your PS4 or Xbox controllers. When you move the stick gently, your character walks when you push it forward all the way, your character runs. It basically applies the same principle except in keyboard form. So if you press halfway down on the key, your character will move slowly, but when you press it down all the way, he moves faster. Watch the video that Cooler Master actually produced and you'll understand. Moving on, there are two precision wheels on the top which I've really come to love because I have had it on the Logitech G913 keyboard and I use it to control the volume on that. But on this control pad, you can actually customize it to change your DPI settings, lower or raise the brightness of the control pad as usual volume control. But the main thing that I find really great about this is that you can adjust the size of your brush, hardness of the brush, magnification to zoom in and zoom out to check on details in Photoshop or Lightroom. The possibilities are really endless with this. The best thing about this is actually the price. I got it at 55 USD, so about 77 SGD, and that is a lot cheaper than the Odd River, Tartarus, and even the Elgato Stream Deck, which I've noticed many people have been using it to function as their control center. With the Cooler Master Control Pad, you're able to get the controls at your fingertips at a fraction of the price, which is, yeah, who doesn't want something like that? As you saw in the unboxing, with the Relangibles keycaps, you can just swap out the keys whenever you like and use the templates shown to customize it to your own liking. Anyways, that was the Cooler Master Control Pad. I hope it was helpful if you're looking for a programmable but small keypad that you can actually bring around this would definitely be it. I would have liked if they could have included something like a carrying case or pouch because I think bringing this on the go to edit or game in a hotel room would be really, really convenient. And yeah, that's it for the video. Remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!